Harrington's out, Ronnie's out, Zabe's out, Daniels. So you got eight guys essentially. Can you describe the challenge that presents you as a head coach and what faces this team? Well, it's it's a good learning experience, I think, for all of us. Not not just me, but for the team. And um, it's important uh, that we manage a time like this, both emotionally and um, physically, with. Um, a good sense of perspective um, and it's it's important that we keep that perspective when we communicate with each other during frustrating times and I think they're doing that so I thought they fought their, their hearts out tonight and I think they should have won um, we've got an issue with defense right now um, we don't have much of a desire to play it and that's uh, it's got to start in practice um, and we've got to We've got to keep working at it, but we've got to, like with a group like this, the only way that um, we're going to get the kind of defensive uh, productivity that we need, uh, we're just going to have to get kicked in the, in the butt a couple of times. That team averages 99 points a game when I mean, they just put 115 on them. So. Talk a bit about like the end of the fourth quarter, end of the third quarter, you went on a 12 4 run, highlighted by that four point play. Do you feel like that was enough to maybe give a push in the fourth quarter? Or? Yeah, we, I thought so, but we traded baskets with them all night. And you can't do that in this league. You just can't. That's why we've been successful in the past is because we don't trade baskets. We score and we get stops. That's how you build leads, and we had, we didn't do that tonight. We just, we'd score a basket, they'd sprint down and score a layup and just erase whatever we just did. And, you know, you can't do that. Our transition defense was like seventh grade basketball tonight. And it's great because I've got wonderful, poignant clips on film to show the team. So Daniel Orton seems to get in foul trouble consistently. How do you adjust that? Seems like his verticality is not up to par. Is that game film, or what? Do you, what, what does it take? Yeah, he's he's um, he, he needs to work on a couple of things. He's, he's too handsy defensively. Um, he breaks verticality quite a bit. He gets frustrated and has just those screw it fouls like he did when he got his, I believe it was his fifth, uh, when he just swiped down the ball and, you know, um, he's got to, he's got to get better at that. And you know, we'll, we show him film, we work on it in practice. The other thing, like, the other thing is, you know, this group doesn't practice well either. They're not a very good practice team and um, I've told them that a m on a multitude of times. Like. It's difficult because we don't have 10 in practice and we can't go live. I've had to practice. I've literally put uniforms on and practiced. Um, so obviously the, the, um, the competition is going up. But as a joke, um, going down. Um, but we got to get better in practice. And if we get better in practice, we'll get better on the court. It's a stark contrast from training camp where you had mentioned that you thought chemistry was at its highest. Um, why, why such a downturn then? Injuries. Okay. Yeah, injuries. I mean, we just haven't had Ronnie's been out. Darrington's hurt. Uh, we haven't been able to practice the way I want to. Um, so it's just it's part of the season. And, you know, the good thing is we're hurt. We're not playing many games. We, we, we don't play another game after tomorrow until next weekend when we go to Texas again for the third time. Um, so it's important for us to manage these times well. Um, and we've got to have good practices. I thought we had maybe one good practice this week. So it's just it's opportunity for me to make a point to the team. Talk about how uh, Mo Baker and George Shaw played off the bench with the short bench you had, how they think they performed. I think in, in situations like this when guys know they're going to get minutes, um, it's it's you usually see good bench production in situations like this where you're down numbers and guys know they're, you know, they don't have to look over their shoulder and, um, you know, Mo was great. I thought he was a little rusty at the beginning. He was he was missing some shots he normally knocks down, but then he kind of got that competitive spark. A headband came off, and whenever that happens, it's time it's time to go to work. But Jared's good. Jared's continuing to get better. Um, he's got that soft touch, and we're just we're kind of building. The, the, his jump shot is kind of the peak of his game, and everything kind of builds up to that. And we're just trying to build everything else up around that. Um, but I thought he was good tonight.